G'day mate, my name's Margie and I'm an Australian currently living in America. Today's video is going to be a three part series doing a deep dive into the Bluey family tree. This video is going to be episode one, which is going to focus on bandit healers side of the family. Part two is going to focus on chili healers side of the family. And then part three is going to focus on Trixie healers part of her family. Interestingly enough, all three sides of the family have family members that have either been seen but have never spoken or been on the actual show or we have members that have been referenced in outside productions like the Big Bluey play. So I think it's really interesting that all three of those characters, Bandit, Trixie and Chili, all have kind of missing family members that we don't know a lot about but we have a little bit of information. So if you're interested in any of that don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as well as the bell for notifications so you know when part two and part three come out. And with that being said let's get started. Starting off with a presumed eldest member of the family and that is Bob Healer. He has also gone by the nicknames Bobba in the episode Grannies and has been referred to as both Granddad in the Bluey YouTube shorts. Sing a song for Granddad and we'll send it to him as well as Grandpa too. His age is presumed to be somewhere around the late 60s or early 70s, and his design has seen a few changes within the show, even though he has only physically appeared twice. Initially in his first appearance in season one, Grannies, he has a gray blue appearance with spots, stripes, a red fur patch on one eye and in his ears as well, and a bite missing out of his ear. However, in the family portrait at Nana's house in the background, his red fur eye patch and his bitten ear are on the wrong side. We see another design error when we meet younger Bob in the flashback 80s episode Fairy Tale in season 3. Here he does not have the red fur patch over his eye anymore and he's also missing the stripe on his tail and some spots on his leg as well. Most noticeably of course is the change in his ear with him still having two whole ears. This leads to many theories about how he lost a bite of his ear whether it was in an accident or a fight or maybe a medical issue. Also, the missing red fur could lead to many discussions about whether it's even the same dog or just someone who looks like Bob. And this theory could be backed up by the fact that he had a different voice actor in the flashback scene, unlike Nana. But as we don't have anything official to back this theory up, we will continue believing that this is Bob. Bob has 101 episodes between appearances, however he is mentioned in the YouTube short Humpty Dumpty and in the season 3 episode Bedroom where Bingo says goodnight Grandpa Bob wherever you are. Goodnight Grandpa Bob wherever you are. His lack of appearance in the show has also created many theories about where he has been. Whether he is dead, he's divorced, he's in the hospital, he's at work, or perhaps he's traveling the world. And that's where all the postcards in season three have been coming from. The one other time we also see Grandpa Bob is in one of the books. So the book Barbecue shows Grandpa Bob at that barbecue scene. So whilst we haven't seen him in the show, perhaps he has always been there, but just in the background, and we've never actually seen him animated. From the small appearances in these two episodes though, we can tell that younger Bob was not a very loving type of father and was more hands off, regularly getting annoyed at his boys and forgetting their names as well. In his old age though, he seems very happy, relaxed and always down for a bit of a dance, even if he is a little bit clumsy. It is from Grandpa Bob that we have a clue to our first missing healer family member and that is Gerald. In season three episode Fairy Tale, when Bob is going through his son's names, trying to remember bandits, he says Rad, Stripe, Gerald, Brad, da, Gerald, da, whatever your name is. Presumably, Gerald must have had some significance to him and the family for him to remember him alongside his sons. The current theory is that Gerald is either his brother or perhaps another son from another dog, but brother seems possibly more likely as even Bluey is aware of the name Gerald as she uses it to name her husband in the episode Hammer Barn. So perhaps Uncle Gerald has been mentioned around the Bluey household before. It is assumed that Bob's one and only wife is Nana Healer also known as Chris Healer, with her full name assumed to be Christine, as we find out clues to that in season three with Bluey's middle name. Chris is also the name of the voice actor in Bluey for Nana, who, fun fact, is also the show producer's mom. Nana Healer is assumed to be 68 or 70, as it has been mentioned in some of the books before. She has retired to the Gold Coast, where we see her beachfront apartment often in her episodes. She also has a more plump design compared to the rest of the Healer's more rectangular designs. She wears pink glasses and doesn't let us forget her trademark saying, hang on I'll just get my glasses. We see a younger version of herself in the episode fairy tale where we assume due to the time difference that she's around the age of 36 years old. She is less plump and still sporting an awesome pair of pink glasses as well as a massive perm. We found out in this episode that she was definitely a bit old school as she used to 
to discipline the boys by trying to hit them with thongs, as well as in the episode Baby Race, we see her trying old school remedies to help Bluey walk, like putting olive oil on her knees. She is a very loving and kind person who willingly gives out icy poles and has nicknames for her kids too, such as Bandy and Stripey. We also know that her Nana was the nicest Nana there ever was, and perhaps she strives to also be that to her granddaughters. Another of our mystery family members that may be related to Nana Gila or to Grandpa Bob is Auntie Mary. Auntie Mary is only ever referred to in one episode and that's barbecue, where Chili tells Trixie that the salad dressing recipe is Aunt Mary's. I like that salad dressing, Chili. Yeah, thanks. I made it myself. It's Auntie Mary's recipe. Based off this one sentence, we can presume that Mary is not related directly to Chili. Otherwise, she would have said my auntie. As such, because she's talking to Trixie, Auntie Mary must have a link to both of them. They are, of course, linked through their husbands, who are brothers, but Stripe and Bandit don't have any sisters. So it must be their aunt who is Auntie Mary, thus making her either the sister of Nana or Bob, and most likely, I would say it's Nana as she seems to be more involved in their lives. From here, we move on to the second generation of healers, starting off with Bob and Nana's eldest son, Radley Healer, also known as Uncle Rad. Again, based on the fairy tale episode flashback and calculating for time, it is assumed that he's around 44 to 45 years old now. He also was initially thought to be the youngest healer, but in fairy tale was shown to be the oldest. He currently works on an oil rig, and for those of you who aren't from Australia, most oil rigs are located in the south of Australia or in the northern part of the west coast of Australia, whilst Bluey is set in Brisbane, which is on the northeast coast. Because of his work and assumed home location, he doesn't get to see the girls very often, and that's why he isn't in many episodes or at many family events. He first appeared in a photo on Bluey's staircase wall in season one episode Feather Wand. He can be seen in the photo surfing, and later on we also see him in the family picture at Nana's house. In these pictures, his design shows him with blue fur up to his neck, but in his first appearance on the show, his design was changed a little bit and his blue fur only comes up to about mid-torso, with the rest being red healer. Many people at first thought that he was not Bob's child or maybe not Nana's child and he was a half-sibling or Chili's sibling due to the amount of red fur that he had. However, dog genetics do allow for different details to come out and it is perfectly normal for two blue healers to produce a red healer too. From what we learn about Uncle Rad in this episode, Double Babysitter, he is a bit of a party animal as he fell into the pool at Bandit and Chili's wedding and we can only assume from having maybe too much of a good time there. But also he is a bit of a blokey bloke as we would say in Australia as he drives a big ute around and he doesn't really care where he parks it either. He is of course a very fun person too just like his brothers and loves to play games with Bluey and Bingo. He is also quite empathetic as he sees Frisky in this episode getting quite uncomfortable when the girls asked her about her failed relationship with Bosco and he quickly distracts them and changes the activity. We also know that he loves almond milk shampoo. Connected to Rad is the character Frisky, who we just mentioned before. Her last name is unknown, however, it could also be Gila, as a few times in the show, the character's last names have been referred to as their dog breed, so this could just be a standard thing in the Blueyverse where you don't have individual last names. Frisky is assumed to be a similar age to Chili, so in her late 30s or possibly her early 40s, as she is quoted as being a friend for a long time, as well as a guest at their wedding and is also the girl's godmother. She lives in Brisbane as well as she seems to be their regular babysitter and Frisky has a very unique design as she's one of the only few dogs in the show to have an actual hairstyle with the other two being Indy and Indy's mum. In the episode Double Babysitter, we learn more about Frisky and that she's also great at coming up with new games for the girls and is also pro-feminist, believing that you don't need a prince to save you and having a good book to read can be just as fulfilling as a prince. She is quite flirtatious, however, with Uncle Rad in this episode and she shares her love for almond milk shampoo with him. Her next appearance in season two episode Christmas Swim shows her in Bali with Uncle Rad on a holiday and she quotes that she is new to the Gila family too. This indicates that at least they are a couple now, but maybe possibly that they have eloped and she is now married to Uncle Rad as well. From here, we move on to the middle child of the Gila boys, and that is Bandit Gila. In the 1988 episode, Fairy Tale, we see younger Bandit at 10 years old, which would make him approximately 44 in the current Bluey timeline. His design takes after both Nana and Bob Gila's design with an almost full blue design with black markings and spots but he also has a little bit of yellow type fur on him to indicate part red healer. Bandit is considered to be inspired by the show's creator, Joe Brum, as not only do their ages line up, but also they have two daughters and the show is supposed to represent his relationship with his daughters as they grow up and play games together. We first see Bandit in the very first episode, Magic Xylophone, and the first season really shows him as the main stay-at-home parent for the girls, even though he is also working as an archeologist 
because he likes to dig up bones. His website biography reads, as the devoted yet tired father, he does his best to use whatever energy is left after interrupted sleep, work, and household chores to invent and play games with his two girls. He still tries to continue his own life amidst the chaos of child rearing, but often struggles to juggle these two competing tasks. We also know that his job allows him to work from home as seen in multiple episodes, and he has a fantastic office where he showcases his love for old things with old bones everywhere, gems and maps, and other type of archeological finds all around the house. We know that he loves to travel based not only off the family photos around the house, but we know that he met Chile in London, he proposed to her in Italy, he knows some French specific to traveling, and we've also seen him and his family in Bali on vacation, such as the episode Swim Lessons. Bandit has had many nicknames in the show, such as Bandy, Telemachus, Bert Handsome, Didums, Romeo McFlourish, Shubidua, Bevan, and Deep Blue. He used to love playing touch football, he plays squash, he can skateboard, and he loves to watch the cricket. We also learn that he loves dancing as well as rocking out on either the guitar, drums, piano, or bum bongos. And this is possibly a homage to his voice actor, David McCormack, who is the former frontman of the Aussie 90s indie rock band, Custard. We also find out that Bandit is left-handed in the episode Claw. He loves sauerkraut, even though it makes him burp or sneeze, depending on which country you watch Bluey in. He has some of the most iconic one-liners in this show as well, such as, oh biscuits, cheese and crackers, beans on toast, goodness gravy, cheese and jam, oh duck cake, crumb steak. And in season three, he also showcased two new sayings, one of them being, what the, uh, but then cutting himself off. It is assumed that perhaps he was about to say a cuss or swear word, but he also showcased the new saying in season three of classic Stripe. Which leads us then into the youngest sibling of the Healer boys, and that is Stripe Healer. Based off the usual age gap of two years between the siblings in the show, we can guess that Stripe is around the age of 42 in the current Bluey timeline, as he looked to be about eight in the episode Fairy Tale. He has a very similar color design to his mum, Nana Healer, but with the red patch like his dad, Bob, and the obvious stripes around his body, which he is named for. His first appearance was in the episode Barbecue, and he has been in 20 episodes so far, as well as some YouTube shorts. We know that as a kid, Stripe was picked on a lot by his elder brother Bandit, and as such in his adulthood has become a bit of a people pleaser. He doesn't like to be strict, and he really doesn't like it when people are mad at him either. We see this often with his relationship with his eldest daughter Muffin, especially in the episode Facey Talk. His job is unknown, but over the three seasons, we have seen Stripe and his family show off a lot of wealth, from their very modern home with a pool in the middle of Brisbane, which would easily cost over a million dollars, as well to their caravan in the episode Camping, their reference to multiple family vacations in Bali, and his new purchase of his electric car. Another fun fact about Stripe is that his voice actor is also the son of Nana Healer's voice actor, and that is Dan Brum, the brother of Joe Brum, the showrunner and inspiration for Bandit. And that's it for part one. So what did you think about Bandit Healer's side of the family? Is there anything that you didn't know? Do you have a favorite character as well from Bandit's side of the family? For me, I think it's probably gonna be Uncle Rad. I think he's probably one of my favorite characters in the show. But let me know in the comment section down below who your favorite character is. Don't forget to hit that big like button as well. It really means a lot to me in helping build my channel as well as that subscribe button as well. Don't forget as well to check out the description box below for part two and part three. And I will see you guys in another video. Mwah. Bye.